God bless you, beloved. I want to bring you a word of God today that should give you great strength and great comfort. I want to speak to you from this subject the Lord laid on my heart, and that is, He says to you, loving you, loving you. That's an I-N-G on the end of love. We learned a long time ago in English class that that ing means that there's an action to this. Let's take our understanding of that then into the scripture. The scripture teaches us in Ephesians the third chapter and the 19th verse, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth understanding that you might be filled with all the knowledge of fools. Now, the first part of that scripture sounds like an oxymoron. It says to know the love of Christ that passes understanding, but if it passes understanding or passes knowledge, how can I know it if it passes knowledge? To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge. So how can I know something that has passed my ability to know? (laughs) It's not an oxymoron. Uh, It's not a twist of words. It is the loving you. His love in you is so deep, so broad, and so high that you cannot understand it, but you can experience it. The first know and to know the love of Christ means to experience his love. But it will pass your ability to know because every time you experience his love, can I put it in the vernacular? It blows your mind that God can love you so much, so deep, so wide, so high, so broad. It's beyond our human experience, even though we experience it. We cannot fully dissect it, pull it apart, and explain it because it's eternal. It's not based on time. It's based on his love. Well, wait a minute. What does it mean? Yeah, his love is based on his love. Final word then. Relax. Don't stress. Know that he loves you more than you can understand or have the knowledge of because he is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. God bless you.